All right, here we are in probably my uh, favorite area of the game. Well, one of them, anyway. Sing, are you ready to roll? Which way should we go? We're going on the snow path, uh, just like we did last time with the rocky path or whatever it was called. I noticed, by the way, the music that plays in here is the same that plays in the um, training dungeons in Makuhita's dojo, which is interesting. Let's try out this thing and see what it does. Bird is famished. Oh, uh, I wonder if it would- No, she's gonna attack it now. I was gonna say, I wonder if it would stay in place if we walked away from it, but yeah, it, uh, it's dead now, so we'll never know. Yeah, I didn't have patience with that shit. What the? Isn't this where we started from? Guess that path just slips back to the start. If we want to move on, I think our only choice is the Frosty Forest. Zing, let's give it our best. Frosty Forest, yeah! I decided I'm probably not going to need, need a lot of this stuff, so... Sing, are you ready to roll? Yeah, of course. Frost Forest. Let's do it. It's freezing cold, but let's give it our best. This music's alright. I don't hate it. It's not my favorite either. Ah, Christ. I do love the background, so as usual, the, you know, just the trees and stuff. Looks good. that hold on what is this oh <gasps> okay yeah we gotta get it bruh D do you know what this does it shows you like it doesn't reveal the whole map to you but it basically reveals the places of um pokemon items like all, like people you're trying to rescue all that shit so you know what uh, hold on fuck yeah all right, check this out. Look at this shit. So now I know what rooms have items in them, and I know where enemies are, and I can just, if I don't quite like, feel like fighting, I'm just like, nope, and I can avoid the red dots. If I want to go see what items there are, I can just go to the blue dots. It's so good. Probably like my, one of, if not my favorite item to hold in the game. Well, that was pretty stupid of me then to deposit on all our money, because I was like, oh, the shops don't have anything I need. Nope, they did. So wait.
Can I get it from here? Sweet. Ooh, Powder Snow is scary. Uh, it hits everyone in the room, so... It's a damn good thing that I wasn't Cubone with, like, a Grass Pokemon partner, because, uh, that would have been not good. See a Pokemon using Struggle like that, uh, it's, like, pretty much almost always gonna be a Ditto. Someone has intruded upon the forest. The enfeebled flow of icy winds. Is the intrusion to blame? It must be stopped. For it is to protect the forest. Well, that's spoopy. Is that another... No, I don't think this is another Kecklan shop because Kecklan would show up as like a dot there next to it. So there's just like a bunch of items right next to each other in that room up there. Let's go find out what they are. Oh, hey! Ah, oh, damn it. For real. Dude, there's so many nose pass here. Oops. Oh, I meant to set that. Oh, when did I get this? Ooh, my Diana, sweet.
Alright, sweet. So that means we're almost to the top. Ooh, the music is good here. Also, snow is different than hail. Snow doesn't hurt you. It makes um, ice-type Pokemon move faster, I think. Um, and uh, hail is what hurts you. be too cold for him. I mean, I guess that Rhydon can live in magma, so you would think that, like, he can also withstand cold and shit, like, even as Rhyhorn, but I don't know. Doesn't make sense. far into the forest. I think we'll be out if we can get through this part. It shouldn't be long. Hang in there. Huh? Zing, did you just say something? I didn't think so. A voice? I must have imagined it. Turn back. You may not pass. Who's there? You are forbidden to pass. If you persist in trying to pass, then so be it. But only after you have defeated me. I don't know what kind of voice to give Articuno, sorry. Oh, it's too bright! The ice around us is reflecting this light! I am Articuno, the warder of ice. Those that enter the forest I shall destroy with all my might. Let us begin. Yeah, sure, bro. I'm a fucking flamethrower. Bring it. Oh, wait, I burned it too, like right off the bat. Goddamn. Oh shit. Oh, wow. Ooh. 
Goddamn. Good thing I had a reviver seed. Please, Articuno. We have to keep moving. We have to get through this. Please, let us pass. No, I cannot allow your passage. Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid forest air. It has warmed considerably in recent times. Warmed up? I'm still freezing, but... The flow of frigid air has been disturbed in the forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting. Snow that has never melted before. This has never happened, even once. Then you appeared in the forest. Is this not your doing? We don't have anything to do with that! It's coincidence that Zingo's flamethrower! Hey, Articuno, you have to listen. It's not our fault that the snow is melting here. It's not just here. Natural disasters are happening all over the place. Even if we hadn't come, the frigid air here would still have been disturbed. Sorry, I'm adding words to sentences. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? Wah! Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare for your end. Stop it. Absol. There is nothing false in what they said. Calamities are indeed occurring in nature everywhere. Is is that true? Yes. I have the ability to sense natural disasters. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never experienced it before. So there are calamities besides this. Fine. I will choose to believe you. You may pass. Articuno. However. Wah! You must try to prevent the calamities from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep, we promise, Articuno. Phew, that was too close. Thank you. You saved us. Rather than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they worsen. If they are left unchecked, worse will befall us. My instinct warns me, warns me so. Groan. I sense the terrible power of the natural calamities. I was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combined forces. I will join you. Huh? You will? Really? Really. To put an end to the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. Sniffle. Thank you, Absol! Absol joined the team. Hooray! So now we have a new person. And, uh, I think last time I played this, I named Scimitar, so I'm gonna name it that again. It's kind of a generic name for Absol, but, uh, whatever. Absol's pretty cool. And so, after getting through the Frosty Forest, Zing's team headed further north. The more they advanced, the harsher the conditions became. This icy mountain pass seems to go on forever. We've walked a long way here. Checkers looks exhausted, too. We've been running all this time out of desperation. What's in store for us ahead? Are we really doing the right thing? Brr, it's too cold. There's only snow around us now. The scenery hasn't changed at all for a while now. Are we even getting somewhere? Hey Zing, you know what I'm thinking? I think we finally reached a place where there's no one else but us. I also have this feeling there's nothing ahead of us here. And I'm feeling pretty beat. Me too. What's gonna happen to us? Uh, don't worry, we'll be fine. I have fun through her. It'll all be good. Yeah, you're right. You do have flamethrower. We came out here. There's no point in wondering about it. Sorry, Zing. I got to feeling sorry for myself. I came out here because I believed in you, and that's not changing. I'll keep believing in you, Zing. I'll go wherever you go. Napsal's like, wow, that's really gay. I can't afford to be indecisive. I have to believe in myself more.
Oh, um, shit. Migraines. What? What was that? Dizzy? Or what? Huh? What's the matter, Zing? Finally. Finally you have arrived. Someone. Someone is talking to me. Checkers? No, this voice isn't Checkers. This voice... I've heard it somewhere. Finally, you have arrived. I've been waiting for you. It's Gardevoir! I am so glad. Finally, we get to meet. You're... what? Hey, Zing, what's up with you? Talking to yourself like that. I cannot be seen by others. I'm visible only to you. A little farther ahead, there is a jagged mountain range topped by Mount Freeze. Inside its peak, Ninetales lives. Ninetales? Ninetales awaits your arrival. Beware. Oh, wait! Beware of what? Hey, Zing! Come on, Zing! What were you doing? What just happened to you? Hallucinations, bruh. Okay, so that's what's hap- that's what happened. Part of where appeared to you. So that's why you were looking so stunned. But wow, Ninetales isn't just a legend. It really exists. And that Ninetales is at the peak way up there. Sniffle. Zing! All the effort we put into getting here, it's finally going to pay off. We'll meet Ninetales and get the truth. We'll finally clear your reputation, Zing. That'll be great. But we don't know if... You know. Hey, Zing, we don't need to look so worried. It'll be okay. Zing, I can understand how it'd be scary for you meeting Ninetales, the heartless human who abandoned Gardevoir. How that might be you, I bet you're scared thinking that. But that's impossible. You're not that human, I'm sure. Believe so much in me? Mm -hmm. Well, there was a time when I had some doubts. But now, I wonder why. I really don't know. But it doesn't matter now. Zing, you're a really good sort. You know, before. When I first got the idea to start this rescue team, I met you in the tiny woods, Zing. Now that I think about it, there was something different about you. Just a feeling. This is kind of weird, isn't it? But I believe in you, Zing. Anyway, we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Seeing, let's give it our best. So also, I love this uh, place. But um, my head canon is that the reason that like the reason that um, Checkers feels such a strong bond with you is because you're actually human, and like Pokemon and humans have a strong bond, like a bond that allows them to do things like Mega Evolution and Z powers, and which you know Pokemon can evolve on their own and battle on their own, but they can't achieve either of those things on their own. They have to have a human partner, so I'm thinking that, like, that kind of special bond is what she developed with, uh, our character Zing, because of Zing's real nature of being a human. I don't know. I can't time. Yeah. Okay. Alright, yeah, so. Okay, bye.